All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so today I am eating a taco pasta. So if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe. Even if you aren't, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time I post a video. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook, interact with us because we like to hear from you. I'm going to say grace and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishment of our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so I kind of just made this pasta up, kind of. Um, I was just thinking of different types of pastas that I wanted to make this week and I don't know, this taco pasta kind of, I also, I think I was looking on Pinterest too and might have saw this. So yeah. So what I did was, well, I guess let me eat. Well, no, it's kind of hot. So let me tell y'all why. I'm... So I got some ground beef, you know, I made the homemade taco seasoning, um, so I browned my ground beef, added some red pepper, green pepper, onion, um, I added a little flour to that because y'all know I like thick sauces. Um, added some corn, black beans, the rotini noodles. These are rotini noodles, right? And then um, some beef and chicken broth because I only had a little bit of beef broth. And uh, yeah. And then so I seasoned the, with taco seasoning on the meat. And then I seasoned it again once I put the broth and stuff in there. Added a little bit more flour. This kind of remind me of um, this uh, chili mac and cheese that I be making. Mm. This tastes like hamburger helper. It's good though. Is that I could taste a little spice? I was gonna give this to the bubby, but maybe a little bit too spicy for him. This is good. It really do taste like hamburger helper though, but I don't mind because I love hamburger helper. Helper. And Gavin gonna like this because he like the dude been trying to get he been trying to get me to make hamburger helper for weeks now, months actually. I took my braids out, y'all. Um. I just haven't been in the mood for hamburger helper. I'm not, no, I'm not too bougie for it or anything like that because we used to eat hamburger helper all the time. But I don't know. And then the kind, of, what did he put? He picked a cheeseburger, the cheeseburger one. He will eat it though. But I just ain't been in the mood to cook it or make or uh, although I could let him cook it himself. But all that to say that he'll like those because it tastes just like hamburger helper. No, my favorite hamburger helper is my favorite one is. Well, I have two. One of them is like, it was like this lasagna one. I don't even know if they make it anymore. It was a lasagna one. And then it came like with this white sauce that you could put on top. That one was good. And then the um, cheesy tuna one. Hamburger Helper was a staple in the house. I wasn't mad about it. It was something quick and easy that my dad could make. That's not the reason why I wasn't mad about it though, but obviously I know that's why he, um, you know, probably got it. You know, you can get, you can make a lot for cheap. And, but it was good. Y'all know I've been tripping all week, right? Well, I had bread when we got the fazolis. Oh, and then we had bread when we had noodles. But I've mostly been tripping about being at home and that when I'm cooked at home, I ain't had no bread. I don't know what I was thinking. 
So I took my braids down. One, because they was raggedy. But also, because I want, I've been thirsty. I had bought these wigs off of um, Facebook to give you with them ads, okay? And my best friend, who I was telling y'all about, I just passed that exam. She had this really, really cute, like, pixie cut kind of wig or whatever. That, like, comes over her. It's like a kind of bold thing that like, comes over her face, you know. Kind of like Holly Berry's wear her all the time. Like, especially, like, in the movie Boom Boomerang. I think that's how she wore her in that movie. So, I bought one like that. And I've been thirsty to see, like, how it look on me. <laughs> Lauren, man. She was just, like, I told her the type of wig I got. Or I told her that I got a wig. And then I was, like, yeah. And I sent her the, the picture of the wig. And she was just, like, mm, I don't know if you could pull that off. <laughs> She's like, yeah, it's a cute cut, but I don't know if you could get, you could wear that. I was like, really, Lauren? So we don't see. I don't know why people ain't understanding. You keep seeing this moving, girl. I wish the store had some Pico. Oh, I put some um, Rotel in here, too. Which could be added to the spice, but I also did put cayenne pepper and um, black pepper in here, so. But yeah, my crow ghetto ain't had no pico. I should have got some guacamole though. I would love to have some of that on top of here. And I used the uh, Daya uh, Cheddar uh, Deli Style Cheese in here. It was intended to be able to give it to the bubby. Maybe I can just put a little sugar on here. It'd be all right. <laughs> so yeah. I used the vegan cheese because you know my little baby got a little dairy allergy. My computer just started playing, but I thought it was. Give me a sec. This that was. Um, I forgot that sometimes if I, cause I know I forget. So I'll what I'll do on uh, YouTube if I see that somebody is um or have a, a premiere soon, I'll just open the window and that way I'm on the window and so when it starts I'll hear it and know to start watching it and that's what I did with uh, Bob's Big Billy Bob's video um, he's premiering right now and that's what I'm like what the heck because I had was watching Marquise Hilson's video before Bob and uh, I had paused his video so I'm like is my computer on some trash like or is it a ghost in here like how did the video just start playing again I know I paused it but it's Bob's premiere <laughs> But I'm sorry I'm missing it because, well, I might obviously have to catch the replay, but because the title is very interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. What was I about to tell y'all? I don't know. But after I get down, I haven't washed my hair yet. And at first I was like, ooh, you should wash your hair first. But then I was like, mm, well, maybe I'm just trying to wig on because if it don't look right, then I'm just not going to put it on. Or I plan on wearing it on live tonight. So we're going to see if it look right. So if y'all see me, well, you'll see this video after live. But clearly, if you see me on live with a wig, I think it look okay, but we're going to see. But if it don't, then I won't wear it. <laughs> and these are my first wigs I've ever purchased. I've got two of them you, got, you could get. 
It was buy one, get one uh, free. And I think I kept seeing the place, and I was like, mm. I finally clicked on there and was like, mm, let me go ahead and uh, see what's up. And especially since it was, I felt like it was a good deal. Like, I think I only paid like 30 bucks for two of them. I really wanted some, when I was smelling it, I really wanted some um, cornbread. But it really does really, really remind me of the chili mac and cheese. It does have more of a taco flavor, but I also do put, put cumin in the chili mac and cheese, so. Mm. And that's some place that got a whole bunch of pickles. Um, so today, like the day this video, it was supposed to like snow really bad overnight, but I take that with a grain of salt when it comes to Columbus because when they say snow really bad, okay, it'd be a light dusting and folks be out here losing their mind. And my sister said that. She uh, was at uh, the Crow Ghetto and stuff like that. And, like, people were just, like, buying all type of, like, stuff just flying off the shelves. Because people think that, like, because it's been advised that you should just go to the store today. Because you may not want to go anywhere tomorrow. We're going to see. But I'm going to be out in the streets because I'm going to my first couple of house showings. Yay! <laughs> So I don't, I don't expect to fall in love with these houses, but my realtor, I had a good conversation with her. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, you know, wiping my nose. I'm sorry. And, you know, I was talking to her this morning. had a good conversation and stuff like that. And so she sent me a listing of some houses and stuff like that. I have, like, months, so I can take my time as much as I want to. So, um, cause I don't have to be out of here until the end of May. So, that is great. Um, I am using, um, Calvin's Realtor. I just missed my favorite part of Bob's videos, which is for you. And then Michelle, she's been doing something like at the at the end of the for you, like sometimes it's a song or a movie reference or something like that. And Bob's gotta guess what it is. Well anywho, I'm using Calvin's realtor. He had he said that he had, had a good experience with her, and I'm really happy that I did decide to go with her because um one, obviously he had a good experience and he said she was the bomb. And two um, she is experienced with the loan program that I'm going through because we just have some different um, requirements and stipulations for, you know, borrowers going through the program and stuff like that. And as it pertains to, you know, documents with purchasing and stuff like that and, and real estate agents and stuff. So I wanted to get one through the program, but I have I had to go to like a a local well my nearest local office is in cleveland and they're they only have in-house realtors in cleveland and not um here in columbus so i had to like so basically i mean the one the one of the one of the in-house realtors that they put me in contact with she um said that she would put some feelers out there basically uh excuse me on her socials and stuff like that trying to find me someone here but um and I was like, well, shoot, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just use, because Calvin had been giving me her his uh, realtor's information, but I was going to try to use the in-house one first, but 
because the, the way that they speak is just it seems like it's easier and um, better for to use an in-house realtor because they just know how the pro the NACA process works or whatever and it's less hiccup or headache and stuff like that but again I was very pleased like she knows about the program and stuff like that um, and what she what is required of her and stuff like that and stuff like because one of the things is that like the they have the any real estate agent working with the NACA borrower has to get their fees and commissions or whatever from the seller so it basically comes out of the and the seller pays those costs or whatever like I don't have to pay anything so um, it's awesome so yeah so she's very familiar with the process she's already registered or whatever she has access to like all the information that she needs so works out in my favor Oh, we probably gonna be out here in these streets if uh if they're showing these um properties tomorrow. But yeah, like I said, I got some time. I don't have to be out of here to the end of May, but I definitely not in this crazy market would definitely have never started right then, you know close for me because you just never know what happened what could happen so I'm excited so me and the bubs will be out here I think I'm a um I have him still in his like infant car seat only because one is easier I don't really mind carrying it it's not like super super like you know ungodly heavy to wear like I'm like you know tripping and stuff like that he's actually still um um the suitable size to still be in the car seat he just has grown so he's like really long but he's always been long long it longer than what it looks like the car seat or well not always longer but I mean homie my homie you know what I'm saying he just looks like a little big but he's not like a I don't know like if you see him like without his coat on and stuff you'd be like oh he kind of small but in the car seat he do look bigger than what he he actually is and so lauren and them they always talking about me like when are you gonna put him in the other car seat and stuff i'm just like well okay it's the wrong outside and i just can imagine the bubby okay sitting in the car seat i mean in the in the grocery cart going like you know and just lick the rona right off the dang on handle i don't got time for that plus you know it's easy Especially when, uh, you know, sometimes he falls asleep. Um, what in the world? Oh, okay. I forgot. I did take my watch off. Really. Okay. It's easier when um, he falls asleep. I just have him in his car seat. That way I don't have to, you know, take him out of the car and then, like, lay him in the cart and stuff like that in the Rona cart. It's just easier for me to keep him in his infant car seat for the time being and stuff. I don't know when I'll take him out. I was, although I was thinking about like doing it this weekend and may do it tomorrow, being that if I got to, you know, get out in and out the car, it probably would be easier to just have him in his other one. But I just, last night we went to dinner. I went to dinner with Calvin, our co friends, Calvin, Lakeisha, and uh, Simeon. And uh, I just unstrapped him out the uh, chair and and brought him in the restaurant and left his infant car seat in there um but yeah this is i mean it's weird because this was not the case with gavin and when gavin starts sitting up which this is definitely not recommended folks don't try this at home but when he start as soon as he starts sitting up i put him in uh his in a front work facing car seat because at that time it was just easier it was heavy to carry him around and stuff like that i mean the yes the car seat is heavy but i'm not complaining about it like it's fine it's totally fine i do you got you do what you gotta do like it's so funny because everybody else be having a problem with these things but i don't mind like i'm fine with it you know it actually works look i've met i've mastered like having this car seat and then like having to um what was i say Having a car seat, like I done carried the bubby in a car seat, you know, and has brung all my groceries in the store. And, I mean, in the house. And if y'all know anything about me, 
I don't like taking multiple trips <laughs> up the steps. I take one trip up the steps, so I'm grabbing like a whole bunch of stuff. Now, the only tricky part is getting the groceries out my hand to get to put the car seat down when I get in the house. That's it. That's it. Okay. I I mastered this thing. So, yeah. Um, we went to dinner uh, for a restaurant week last night. Um, I surprisingly, I only went to one place this week. I said I was going to go to more, but y'all, I'll be lazy. I'll be lazy. Also, I've been busy this week with work and stuff like that. So, I just, you know, when you get, when you be, it, 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 you don't even be physically drained. It just be, you be mentally drained, okay? And don't be wanting to go nowhere. So, that was the case this week. I just didn't feel like going anywhere. So, um, anywho, we, we we plan to go to a restaurant. We, we usually always go every time there's a restaurant week and stuff like that. At least one day we'll, we'll all go as a group um, pre-pandemic or whatever. So, we went to a place. I've been to this place before, but I didn't. Um, if you are, if you follow me on Instagram, I did post a picture of my meal. And if you are a real girl appetizer uh, member, you got a another picture of what I ate last night. And that's another thing about memberships. Um, well, one, they are available. Um, and thank you so much to those who have become members of the channel. Um, it's just a it's just a way to another way to support the channel. Um, if you would like, again, I've, I've discussed before, and I need to say this at the beginning of videos, but I've discussed before. You know, memberships are not required. It's not a requirement. Your subscription, you being subscribed to my channel, is not you know predicated on being a member of my channel. Your uh, membership doesn't change. I won't. I mean, your subscription doesn't change. I won't look at you funny if you're not a member of my channel. It's just you know, added. You just get some extra added benefits, like uh, you get to use some pretty cool emojis that I've uploaded um, when you comment under my videos, um, and when you join me for like premieres and live streams, um, you get some exclusive. Um, content you get to see things before everybody else sees things or whatever and if you are a real if you become a real girl full course me uh, member you'll get videos that literally nobody else will see so you know those are just videos um we'll have a special game night or what have you uh once a month where there'll be um bigger and better prizes i mean the ten dollars i feel like is, is nothing to, you know you know laugh at or anything but you know um you know you get more bigger prices um during the game night um so yeah um those are just some things to think about added benefits but in any event um like i said if you are a real girl appetizer um member then you do get stuff like that like exclusive pictures that i won't um you'll get them before i post them anywhere else or what have you like that um uh, either you'll only you'll be the only person to get it or you'll get them before i post them somewhere else so you know you get some you have some exclusive you're 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 contributing or paying for exclusivity so um like for example, um, my real girl appetizer members knew about and saw um, the pictures of our pineapple boats before I even posted that video, and I posted that video way after <laughs> I made those. So yeah, it's just you know some some pretty cool things you get to see what's in the works before everybody else. So you know, come on, be exclusive with me, okay? So yeah. Anywho. Dinner was so much fun, man. I really miss hanging out with the co-friends. Like, it's just, it's so much fun. Like, we are a hoot when we get together. Like, the, our server just kept, you know, hinting that we were basically rowdy. I mean, you know, we, we was cut. We was definitely cutting up. But, I mean, that's what we do. Like, it was just so fun. I can't contain my laugh. Like, my laugh, when I be laughing, like, when Calvin coming, that's how I laugh, like, all the time. And I'm just, I am kind of loud, but I'm sorry. Okay, that's just who I am. You feel me? Like, you guys will see if, you know, if you join me on lives and stuff like that, I'm the same way. And, yeah, so we just had a blast. It was, uh, and the bubby came, uh, Gamma had gone over to his father's house. So, it was just so much fun. The funniest thing, what I was thinking about earlier while I was cooking was uh, Simeon. She's so funny, man. Like she, I think she's going on a trip later on this year and she was inquiring about whether they're, uh, ha if they've opened up the middle seats on planes or um, if they're still, you know, not seating the middle seat. And, uh, <laughs> 
And she said, well, that's okay because, you know, her and her son, she, they just going to be in one row. She was like, I'll see to it that they don't uh, see anybody or that nobody sits in her row. And we all were just looking at her like, but we didn't say anything or whatever. And and we were dying because, like, basically, Simeon said she about to boss up on people. Like, you're not sitting here. Sorry. She said, all I know is that I'm going to place my bag and I'm going to place my son. And that's going to be it. Nobody's good. The role is unavailable. Sorry. Uh, we were dying laughing. Like, when she said it, like, we was looking at her. But she didn't She didn't look up. She didn't shy away from her food. Like, she just kept eating while she just, she was like, I'll see to it that. She said, I'll see to it that nobody sits in the room. And, you know, just went on about eating. And we was like, thug life. And we just, like, <laughs> was saying, we going to send me out. We going to see videos of send me out being escorted, escorted off the plane. And she going, we all going to end up um, on a no-fly list by association with send out, man. It was just so, so, so funny. Uh, and then me and Lakeisha had the same thought that like, okay, well, maybe she's saying that she going to buy the middle seat just to make sure that nobody sits there or whatever, man. I t when I tell y'all, it that was one of the funniest, that was probably one of the funniest moments. Like, I don't know, but we, we just, we just clown so much, man. So I, I, this is all just to say that I miss my friends and I'm so glad that I got to see them because I really ain't been doing a whole lot. I just been in the house, been doing YouTube, been with these kids. And then of course now on this, um, housing journey. So, well, I've been doing that, but didn't say a whole whole lot about it but i've yet been working on that so yeah it's going it we we you know what i'm saying yeah so anywho my camera about to cut off so i'm gonna peace out on y'all so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave some comments down below let some things you like to see us try things you like to see us cook interact with us because we do like to hear from you and subscribe to the channel boys subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video and we'll see you in the next one peace out my hair also kind of, you know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of hair in time, you feel me? But I don't like my, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I, I'm really thinking that I want to cut my hair off, honestly, during uh, the summer. Because I really like this shortcut that I had. And maybe in another video, or maybe if I end up watching this one all the way through, because and uh, I may, I don't know, I may put, post a picture of me with my shorter haircut or whatever. But I really liked it. I think it, I thought it looked good on me. So uh, people keep telling me not to cut my hair, but I love the shortcut. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. The only reason why I kept my hair this long in the first place is just so that I can, only so I can have braids. That's it. Otherwise, my hair will be cut again. So all right, we well, peace out, y'all. Oh, well...